Hey up everybody. Today then I'm moving on to doing my cab and, sp and spraying it all up in stages. As you can see I've got the undercoat on. So what I've done, I've rubbed it all down. I've put some rust treatment on any spots of rust that I may have found. I've then rubbed it down again. I've, I've, I've then etch primed it. I've let that harden for 24 hours and then I've put this grey undercoat on so all this will be painted black so the roof the sunroof and the cab but before I put the black paint on I'm going to um, I want to put some lining around the windows and round the door and window edges and I'm going to do that in red so what I'm going to do first I'm going to spray this area in red then I can put my lining tape on where I want my line to be and then I spray over it all black now once I peel my lining tape off it should leave a red line well that's my plan anyway On to the next part of my cab then, I've, I've, uh, I've sprayed it all up and I've actually put two clear coats of lacquer on the top and I've, I've just flattened it off, that's why the sheen's gone off it. I'm going to stencil a number on, so I'm just about to put the stencil on and I'm going to be doing that in, in, the, in a colour yellow. And I'm uh, going to mask it all off and then I'm ready for painting. I've just been finishing my roof on my cab and just off camera I've made these little knurled headed fixing screws I'm calling it my sunroof for my sunroof on my cab on my cab roof and uh, a while back I changed all my kitchen and off the cupboards I saved all the brass knobs so I've recycled my, my brass uh, kitchen cupboard knobs there and made made four of these. And what happens is then I'm just going to have this permanently fixed to the cab, this piece. And then I can just put this piece on and off as required to access the safety valves and the manifold.
and they'll just screw fully down. Okay then I've got all the roof brackets fitted now, I've just fitted the windscreens, so it's all complete, it's had two coats of lacquer on top of this number that I stenciled on, and basically uh, it's ready for ro roof going on now, uh, I'll just put it on temporary roof, I can't fasten roof on permanently now because I've got to get, once it's on loco, I've got to get my arm in to get these screws in. I've got the sunroof fitted and I made these little knurled screws, I think I've shown you that in a previous clip. That's the cab fitted, uh, just a couple of little jobs to do eventually, I've got a name plate to put on front here, that will hide them holes, I've got this brass ring to push up to the cab, what's on the uh, boiler here, and I've got to fit a rubber trim just on that edge, just to fill any gaps, other than that it's all completed. I'll take a couple of shots from different angles and take you around it so you can have a look. But basically that's it. And just for anybody that might be wondering why I chose that number 1157, well my dad worked at, for National Coal Board for 43 years and that was his check number 1157. I also worked for National Coal Board, my check number were 11. So I'm representing them both there. Yeah, I did 43 years doubt mine. Uh, and who were presented with that miner's lamp for his service uh, back in 1984. If anybody's interested, I did a video on this miner's lamp uh, where I stripped it all down and refurbished it. Take a look at that if you're interested. I'll uh, I'll, I'll put a link on to end it on to end of this video. I'm going to sign off for now. Then, if you've not seen my other videos. On me building this loco from scratch, take a look at them. And if not, I'll catch you on my next video, which may be making a start of the tanks. So, thanks for watching then. Bye for now.